Hey there, and welcome to the newest segment of our vlog, Learn to Crochet. This is designed for the absolute beginner in mind. Check out our Learn to Crochet playlist if you want to start from the very beginning. Grab a cup of tea or your beverage of choice and let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about four common crochet stitches. Number one being the slip stitch, number two single crochet, number three is a half double crochet, and number four is a double crochet. It is very important that you learn these stitches before we begin the crochet process. More often than not, these are going to be the stitches that you are going to see the most. As far as the patterns go, these are going to be abbreviated. So the abbreviation for a slip stitch is an SLST or an SS. The abbreviation for a single crochet is an SC. The abbreviation for a half double crochet is an HDC. And the abbreviation for a double crochet is DC. Most of your patterns are going to be written with the abbreviations, so this is just a good thing to learn. So I have crocheted some swatches for you to look at, just so you can get an idea of the different sizes of each stitch. And I'm going to be starting with a slip stitch first. As you can see, it is very small. It doesn't give much height at all, and this is used in various patterns. Now we're moving on to a single crochet. This is five rows of a single crochet, and if I start at the top, this is one row of a single crochet. This is two, three, four, and five. It's a nice close stitch good for a lot of different projects. Now we're moving on to the half double crochet and I have to say this is my favorite stitch. It works up very quickly and it's very pretty. It gives a little more height than a single crochet and it's just a fun stitch to learn. So this is also five rows of a half double crochet. Starting at the top this is one row, two rows, three rows, four rows, and five rows. And last but not least, this is the double crochet. Now this is another stitch that I really enjoy doing. It's very quick and you can see the height that it gives each row. This is also five rows of a double crochet. Starting from the top, here's row one row two, row three, row four, and row five. Visually, I think that the double crochet is one of the prettier common stitches. It's just easier to work up because the stitches are so tall. It, it goes very quickly. So looking at these again, your single crochet is going to be shorter than your half double crochet, and your half double crochet is going to be shorter than the double crochet. I know that this seems like a lot to remember right now, and it is. That's why I am taking this slowly. I want to teach you correctly. You have the ability to go back to the playlist and rewatch, and you can do this, I promise. Yarn and crochet to me is like a therapy. It is just an awesome, awesome skill to learn. And if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to us. We would love to have you here. But until the next one, stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe, and 
Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.